Hello everyone. I haven't been posting videos and so I want to do a little bit of a catch up. I've been under the weather, but I wanted to show you something a little bit fun. Um, this is the Lean On Me stamp set. It's new with our catalog this uh, year. And it's a set of four stamps. And they're adorable. They're really cute. Now, those of you that know me realize I don't buy a lot of figure stamps, you know, stamps that, that are people. But this set is uh, actually really easy to use, and it's a lot of fun to play around with. So, just to show you a couple of projects I've done, I've done this little card that I just did on a small piece of watercolor paper, some embossing, a light bit of coloring, a ribbon. Uh, this is a uh, little boy in the set really like that one this one is notice that this one doesn't have a sentiment so each one of these stamps is an image plus a sentiment so you might assume that you have to use them together you don't so using your markers or your ink pad you can ink just part of this you can even cover up a piece of it with a post-it note um, and then ink the rest of it using your ink pad and divide it which means that this set of four stamps really is a set of eight stamps because these images without the sentiment with another sentiment all together or what I like to do is put the the image on the front and the sentiment on the inside of the card or you can just use these sentiments with other images that you have in your collection and you don't have to use the image at all and you have a new set of sentiments so a set of four in this case turns into a set of eight and I love when I can perceive that when I'm buying stamp sets because it means it's gonna go further for me so this is another set that's also very friendly on the clean and simple side so we're gonna do a clean and simple card today I am using the D block and you'll notice that I've attached our new repositional gr grid stickers. Stick them right to your blocks and so they go on these blocks or any other block you have and they act as an assistant for aligning your stamps. For instance, I'm going to turn this stamp over so that the sticker is uh, standing up and looking at me so it doesn't interfere with the stamp being able to stick to it. And to center that sentence on top of the line. So you see that? So if I'm looking through the block, the sentence is now centered, I mean, sorry, aligned along that grid line. Now, some of you may prefer to do this the other way, and that's okay, which means that the stamp is very close to the grid and you may feel that you can see it better that way. So I love it, it's great. So now I'm gonna stamp this onto a card base that I have cut at four and a quarter by eight and a half, which scored and folded will be a four and a quarter square card. And I'm also aligning this against the grid lines on my mat. You should use stays on or archival friendly inks if you plan to color it color the image. So I'm going to use an archival ink here and I'm going to ink this up. And so then I'm going to use my grid lines on my mat and my grid lines on my block to make sure this is aligned. And I want the, sent the image over to the right and the sentiment somewhat centered. So between the grid lines on my clear block and the grid lines on my cutting mat, I've got a perfectly straight image, okay? So now we're going to do a little bit of coloring. I'm going to use a blender pen, Baja Breeze, So Saffron, and I'm going to start by using the Baja Breeze and the blender pen. And I like to have a piece of scrap paper handy with my blender pen. Okay, I'm going to pull back my block that I had, remove the stamp, I go put that onto my scrubbing pad, and I'm going to use the block as a palette for my ink. 
And I'm going to do the pants with the Baja Breeze. And I'm going to do the umbrella with the Baja Breeze. And with the blender pen, you don't need to touch, you don't need to rub. You can just, you know, gently, gently lay the color down with the blender pen. It does its own shading for you, which is really nice. Kind of start where you'd like the darkest shade to be. Notice I'm using the lines of the umbrella. And then I automatically get a blending that's done for me. The standard rule is anything that can't hit the sun, whatever sun might be out that day, will be darker. So I'm going to color the bottom part of the umbrella darker. And I might even just take the pen directly to the umbrella underneath and then blend that down. And this will give me a nice shading under the umbrella. And you can use the fine point of your marker if you're having trouble using any other point to get the most the tiniest areas it's also great as a journaling pen so you'll notice when you look at the marker this is the fine point and this is the um, thicker point now I'm going to take the yellow marker and put that down notice that I turned the palette the block around so that I didn't put any yellow in my blue because then I'd get green I'm also going to clean off my blender pen just by rubbing it on that scrap paper until it dries, until it comes out clear. And then I'm going to do my boots. I'm just going to continue coloring her coat. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to do her skin tone. And again, I'm going to use it directly with the marker since it's such a, a light shade. And maybe that'll give the impression of a darker skin tone. One day I'll do um, African skin tones for you. But you definitely can do those with stamping up markers as well. All right. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to this to give the impression of wetness. So I'm going to pull out my Dazzling Diamonds, and I have it in this little uh, container, excuse the container. And I'm going to take my two-way glue stick, and I'm going to very gently dro drop some glue down on the, the raindrops on the pieces of her umbrella the top not the underscore and on the bottom of the boots okay then I'm going to I have this like don't laugh at me this little candy wrapper in here that I use to put this on <laughs> silly there's no purpose to this candy wrapper it's just that I think I didn't have anything else I, I have a spoon in my um, bossing powders so let me just make sure I flick all this off. So all you do is you just flick, you just put a little bit of it on top of uh, the glue. And be careful now. You really should let this dry uh, before you do anything else. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, ribbon on there. And I'm cutting 15 uh, inches of ribbon. You might not need as much. The purpose of the ribbon on this card is to ground her so she's not standing up in air. I chose, just so that you know why, I chose Baja Breeze because I thought it had a very kind of an aqua look to it, you know, as far as water pull it down so that she's standing on the ribbon. Fold your card in half. And there you go. Thank you for coming today and I hope to talk to you soon.